In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to make hollow letters in your title designer and also how to apply a four color gradient to the titles that you use in Title Designer as well. We have two separate titles on our screen. We'll deal with each of them separately to show these techniques. We'll start out on the Modern Medicine title which is simply a black font right now, and move into our title designer. It doesn't really matter what I have for font face. I can actually turn that off or I can make it transparent. The key thing for a hollow title is a border. So I'm going to click on the border and notice I have a green right now. I'm going to turn off the font face and now my font is totally an outline font. But I want to change it a little bit more than that. I can change the size of the border to make it thicker if I need to, or I can change the blur to make, in this case, have it look more neon or more not. Now I'm going to change the color here because that doesn't show up very well. Something maybe darker or brighter. Let's try a, a red over here. And here we have our modern medicine. I think I'll turn the blur back a little bit. There's another thing you can do that will make a nice look to the title, and that is to use the option that says shadow. I'm going to click on shadow and turn that on. And here I'm going to have a shadow. It defaults to text and border, and this doesn't look too bad right now. But what I want to apply, that, apply it to is just border only. And now it gives it a more three-dimensional look, you notice. If the distance is pretty close, if I move it away, it doesn't do much good. But if I'm pretty close uh, to 1, 1 1.5, 1.4, I have a nice special look about this font. By only using the characteristics called shadow and border together. So that's one way to do that particular component. Now I've moved to my main screen and we're going to deal with the other title text that I have here called Corner Pharmacy. I'll double click on that and that will get me back into my designer. In this case, we're going to work a little bit on the four corner gradient. And then I'm going to move to my font face attributes. It's uniform color now. Let's click on four color gradient. Now when you use four colors, I recommend using colors in the same spectrum. If you use colors that are radically different one from the other, it just tends to look rather odd. You can make any kind of combination that you like here. But if you notice, it basically comes out in some kind of weird rainbowish look. What I'd like to do is make these all a bit in the purple area we're just going to vary them a little bit in intensity. That one will be a little bit lighter on that corner. Instead of a dark green, we'll go back to our purple. We'll make this one almost a purplish black on the one corner. And we'll take the other corner and we'll start with the same general uh, look and then we'll just change the intensity there. Now if you look here, what we have now is something a lot better. It looks like we're playing with the light a little bit. And I like the way to do that, but I find that if you're going to use a four color gradient, it works best if you're in the same palette. Another thing you might want to change when you're working with that is put an outline around it. So we'll click on our border here and we'll change the color of our border. Here again, you can also use a four color gradient if you want. I'll just try black for now. That came, that came across too dark. Let's try something in a gray. And if I want to vary that even more, I can go off of uni uniform color. Let's try four color again. Let's, let's be in the gray area where we're more of a, a light at the, at the one corner. And we'll click on gray again and we'll go darker over here. And we'll click on my gray again and be somewhat down in the middle. And the next one I will move again and make this a little bit dark, but not quite charcoal black. And you notice now I have a gradient on the letters as well as a gradient on the border. And that's a nice feature. 
in CyberLink PowerDirector's Title Designer. So you can adjust both of these, and when we play our movie, we have a bit more classy look both to the title for the modern medicine and the title for our pharmacy. Mm -hmm. 